down the abyss where you belong. You cannot oppress us. You can never and never. This family is for God and God is for us. You can never touch us wherever you are coming from. I don't care whether you are coming from the sea or from the cold or from wherever. God, Jesus, Jesus, I know your presence is here right now. Send your angels. A successful night oppression, my lord. I see. Successful. Now, where is Lady Harvard? What is the meaning of all this? I am sorry. I. I am so sorry, my lord. I disappointed you. I want you here in the temple immediately. Why did I have to summon you here before you appeared? I am sorry. I am so sorry, my lord, I failed you. You know the consequences of failure, don't you? Your life has to be terminated. Please, pardon me, my lord. I am willing to render a worthwhile sacrifice as atonement for my failure. Good. Where is he? And who is he? Hey, Ofra. My only child, Temple. And you offer his intelligence and blessings to this very altar. Now go to that boat and summon his presence immediately. Blessings and become wayward. You shall become a huge disgrace to your entire family and the society at large. You shall be an object of mockery and the failure to yourself till eternity. <laughs> Maybe 
is because of it. Chike, Chike, where are you going to? Chike! How was your life? Mom, did you have to go that far? Did you have to go that far? Even to attempt the life of your own daughter? Listen, Mom, I've always known you to be a heartless, ruthless, and callous woman. But I never knew you has got into this geometric history. What are you saying? Spare me that! Give me some credit! You know exactly what I'm talking about. To be honest, I don't know what you are talking about. Ah. Well, you think I'm still unaware of your evil antics? Well, I met a prophet who told me everything about you. He exposed you to me. He told me about your evil antics. And he told me that you're a witch. He told me how you killed my father, how you killed my two younger siblings, and how you pursued my other brother out of his house. I've heard of people being called the devil's incarnate. Mom, you are not the devil's incarnate. You are the devil itself. Now, let me tell you something. If you do not repent and confess your sins, I'll get you exposed to the world. Let's not forget. We won't be tied to you if anything happens to my sister. Margaret about something. What was that? Hmm? I wasn't taxed last night. I'm going to Margaret to speak with her about it. She was a body attacked. Attacked last night. And Margaret was a body attacked. By who? By witches, of course. The girls were equally attacked in their room. I don't know why witches and wizards are increasing in this age of ours. Mm. Mm. You give me this impression that you know so much about wishes and wizards. What do you know? Why are you sounding as if you are not bothered by all these things? I will first understand why I have to be bothered. Look at me. You are inciting people with these tales of witches and wizards, and I will advise you to stop. Okay? Usia, not Roma. You did. Why do I have this feeling that you know something about all this? Huh? Yes. <laughs> if what you just said now was a mistake, let it not happen again. Any other day you try to associate me with evil, I will deal with you personally. Do you understand that? I have nothing to say. Oh Christ, the solid rock I stand. Every other girl is sick inside. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sam. The temple, the holy temple of wisdom and knowledge. Sir, so what is it? Talk to me. Why are you sounding like this now? Wait till they have Sir, so please, I have somewhere very important I need to go and it's very urgent. Please, I, will, I think I will talk to you later. I'm only calling to celebrate your brother. You know you're a genius. You are the best thing that will happen to this family. Hello, Sam. Thank you for the compliment. Eh? But that sounds like flattery to me. Uh, uh, why would I flatter you? Tell me why. I call to wish you success in your upcoming degree exams. Oh? Thank you, Sam. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate. Please, I have to go now. Eh? Talk to you later, okay? Okay. Well, take care. Hello, Sam. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Good morning. 
How are you today? Did you sleep well? I slept. Well. That was a night. <laughs> My night was beautiful. Dressed up? Are you going somewhere? Yes, just dressed up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Who was that on the phone? Oh, that was uh, Tom Kudo. Hmm. Uh, okay. What? You know who okay. is wrapping up his degree exams? Uh, okay. Hi, boy. Oh. Uh, that is uh, Judy's uh, son. Yes, 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 mm. yes. I saw him before he left for school. Okay. There is uh, actually something unique about that boy. Eh? Mm. I know the good Lord will see him through. Memo, <laughs> Mom, do you know Tempo is already a first class material? He's going to make his family proud. He will, and so will you, my I know, I know. <laughs> You're going to make us proud. Mama, Mama. Yes. Judith. I know. What was the meaning of that? Didn't you see the way she was just sizing me up? That woman knows that the thing in me is greater than the thing in her. Every girl in this Awoka environment is to get married. Why am I now proposing to you and you are disagreeing? You think I don't have money or what? What seems to be the problem? Money is not the issue, my dear. You know, the last time your mommy told me to my face that I would never get married to her son. I don't want to get married tomorrow and start having issues with my mother in law. Come on, Gladys, leave my mother out of this. I don't want getting married, not my mother. Not my mother. Who are you? What are you doing around me? Okay, now. What has gotten us? What, what is this? Your confusion did not work at all. You want to lure me to marry you. God will punish you seven times. God will punish you. Mama, eh, no. Sitting down here, thinking your life is complete. Who heard you to hear? Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? Are you drunk or what? Oh, I'm not drunk. Uh, gently give me this wallet. Or leave me with an option. Slapping the hell out of you. Or do me see like him or... Give me that wallet. Get out of here. Give it to me. Give me that phone. Give me that phone. Never have time for me. 
here telling us that something tragic happened in the school. Why are you not talking? Say something. I, I don't know how to tell you this. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, Joe, you are not just anybody. You are the true son of Sirius. And you are supposed to live up to the family you come from. I want to hear what happened now. Now, honestly speaking, the campus is on fire. The whole campus is on fire. Seriously. Fire? What kind of fire? You are getting everybody confused here. What really happened, Joe? Brother, please speak up now. Talk. Ma, tell. Temple shot and killed someone yesterday. Jesus! That's what happened. Are you what? serious? Mother! Chelo, Chelo, Chelo. It's a guinea. That temple shot and killed somebody. My own temple. <laughs> Don't talk like that. It cannot be. Yes, I cannot lie to you. Indeed, I, I, I don't just know how it got the gun, but. Something serious has happened. What happened? Hi. It is Andrew. What about Andrew? What happened to him? Andrew is dead. What is he? Stop, stop, please! Don't be joking with everything. What do you mean I Andrew not, is dead? I'm joking with nothing. A hit and run driver ran him over and his brains were split on the street. No, okay. What is going on, man? We didn't catch the driver. He just went to run. What's wrong with you now? <laughs> and I got the police. Honestly, I don't know what you're doing. Come on, you can't have a second. Whatever you want to say, be fast about it. You're finally back. After so many days in exile. What's chasing you out of your mother's house? By the way, what's this recent falling out with mom? I do not want to talk about that witch. Which? What is happening? What is happening? I do not want to talk about that witch. No, you have to. You have to. Not after calling her mother a witch. Because that's exactly what she is. Her mother is a witch. She's the one responsible for everything that has been happening in this family. Chicken, you have to be mindful of what you're saying. Okay? You think I have no proof? Well, I meant a prophet. And he told me point blank that her mother is the one responsible for all the ill men that has been going on in this home. 
Her mother is the one responsible for the death of her father. Her mother is the one responsible for the death of our two younger siblings. And her mother was the one who attacked you the other night. No, 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 no. Lord. No, no. What did you just say? No. Her mother attacked me? Well, no. I confronted her, but she could not deny it. I told her to confess her sins and repent. Otherwise, I will expose her to the world. on your car. Explain to the family. Were you the one that killed my son? Were you? It's a tragedy for the entire family. Let us arrange to have his remains brought back here. Is that all you can tell me? <laughs> Is that all you can tell me? <laughs> Was Margaret's son you used for sacrifice last full moon? Now another of her beloved sons is gone. Only Samuel is left. Hey, Margaret will never forgive you for this. Do you blame me? I, I, I have lost count of my children, honestly. And probably your wives too. Uh, no, uh, I have six, six wives. Six surviving. The rest three, you know what happened to them, as well as what happened to your seven kids. You have 34 left now. 
17 and still in the school, while others are fighting fruitless battles of making something reasonable out of their lives. Well, I, I wonder why they should be expressing themselves to make ends meet. It's not necessary. I mean, I, I, as if I don't do that in all of them. And I do. Because you have condemned them of being successful on their own. Serious. You are one heartless entity. Hmm. You see, somebody like me, who sits atop the dynasty of witches must occasionally do something worthwhile to remain at the top. By the way, it gives me a lot of joy. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> It means when your only surviving child cannot even make a man out of himself. No, 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 shh. Stop. I know what it means. It is not your fault. I cannot blame you if you, if you cry all day. Please stop. Can I you cannot stop? blame you. I cannot blame you if you, if you hate me. I can never hate you. I can't you? Look, don't put the blame on yourself. Stop it. Could you stop it, please? Mom, I have to. No. Stop. I have you to put the blame on myself. Stop, no, no, no. Please don't. Do I? Andrew was lost to me the very time he turned a drunk and nuisance. Mom, I vowed to make you happy. I know. Mom, I vowed to make you forget Andrew. I know. I'm working very hard. Look at me. I don't lie. Yeah. Am I empty? No. Stop, stop that. I cannot even show anything for the education I had. You are not a failure. I cannot give you and dad for all the investment. You can never be a failure. You know that. Please. Mom, I'm a total friend. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. Stop, stop, stop. Can you look at me? Look at me. Just look at me. You're not a failure. You can never be. Can't you see there is something going wrong? Can't you see that? Look at your cousins. Look at your half sisters. Look at your half brothers. Your brothers. There is something definitely wrong. The girls are going to prostitution. And even the boys. The boys are molesters. All of them. That they're, they're not they're not pleasing any of us. Don't make not making the parents proud. 
They're not making me proud. Oh, I'm so I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Look, what we have to do to go into prayers. Favorite prayers. We have to go to our Creator. We have. To, we just have to pray without ceasing. We have to pray, pray, pray. We have to make a prayer. I'm so keen to cry. Please. Don't cry again. No. Okay. <laughs> we, are, we, we, we are going to be okay. Everything will be okay. Please. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at you. Let's pray. Okay? Let us pray. Today we shall feast on the blood of those we killed last week so we can make some allowance for fresh blood. Before then, Lady Payne. Yes, my lord. Speak. I am willing to listen. Thank you, my lord. I have a case against my son. He wages war against me and threatened to expose me to the entire war. I want him summoned before my Lord Sirius. Speak into the pot and summon him accordingly. Chibike, you have beaten more than you can chew. You have provoked me beyond limits. I summon you before my Lord Sirius to pay for your sins. I grant you the authority to place a curse or curses upon him as you so desire. You, Chibike. I, your mother, who carried you for nine good months, fed you with my breast milk, gloated and sheltered you till you became a man, charged you for disobedience. I stripped you of all your senses completely and have you roam the streets till you meet your miserable end. It shall be as you have decreed. Dead to the goat.
We should be concerned about the cause. I think we should focus more on the solution, on how to solve this calamity. Yeah, right. I agree with you on your nature. Huh? Your point. Yes. Mama Samuel, yes, for you to have called this meeting shows you have a solution already. Tell us what is it we want to know. We don't need any prophets. To tell us that there is some spiritual forces against this family. What we need to do is prayer without season. That is, we pray fervently. Yeah? That's it. And we should invite all the children, every one of them, and have a strong family meeting. Prayer meeting, I mean. Do you understand? And possibly invite a powerful man of God after. 
That's what we should do. What? Yeah. Wow! Don't tell me you people are needed secretly in my absence. You know we cannot do that. We were not in the house when we decided to trash a green issue. Grave issue? Yes. In this house? What grave issue are you trying to trash? See, we're talking about the bad condition of things happening in this house. And Mama Samuel here, she has suggested that we embark on a serious family prayer to liberate every one of us from all these awful situations. What are you saying? And then what prayers? I still don't understand you. This is no stranger in this family. Us. We have, my co-wives and I have decided that we are going to have a strong family meeting here. That is, we pray strongly. And then possibly invite the children for that meeting. And then a powerful man of God after. That's what we have decided. And that is what we are talking about. Yes. We must conduct intensive family prayers. Yes. yes. No problem. We can do that. And, and, and this is happening now? Yes. And Margaret is spearheading it. Margaret? I don't believe this. Do not tell me you are unaware of the strong opposition she has been in this house. I lost my only surviving son because of her and I will never forgive her for that. You should have taken care of her long ago. But you were allowing your emotions to take the better part of you. <laughs> there's no such thing. You and I know you love her so much. Tell that to a man with a heart, not me. Then take care of her before she becomes a problem. Mom, all this happened today. Today? Today, my daughter. They almost killed me. But thanks to Almighty God, the forever living Father that we serve, who intervened. How did you know that was a spiritual attack, Mom? Daniel, your mom is not a kid. Honey, I felt the presence of demons in my car. And I knew exactly when they took over my staring. But trust God, the Almighty Father, the I am that I am, who moved me to pray. And immediately, He took control of the situation. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. You see, this is why I always say that we need to be alive in the Spirit all the time. Because the Bible says that the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom to devour at any time. But it shall never devour us in Jesus' name. Amen. The demons are everywhere. They are never asleep. That is why we, the children of the Most High God, must always be awake and alive in the spirit all the time. Oh, my spirit is delighted with this testimony. Tonight, we are going to pray and thank God for saving the life of your mother today. And we are going to ask that that same God that saved her from the hands of the blood-sucking demon must continue to be our God. And I ask that everyone shall rise up on his feet. That we shall decree of today that we are of the Lord and Satan has no claim on us. Father, we thank you, O Lord. Thank you. I think Lady Havoc is 100% right in this. You have to take care of her before she becomes a huge problem. I know you know what it means if she succeeds in bringing a powerful spiritualist into this compound. 
I will not allow that to happen. Certainly not. Not under my roof. I underestimated her. I concede. But it will not happen. My Lord Sirius, you don't underestimate such a woman. I learned she has always posed a threat to this household. You don't have to overlook such a woman. Was she not the one that struck Lady Havoc down the other day? That made her offer her only surviving issue in order to save her life? How can you overlook such a woman? Besides, what's this news about her uniting your family? You know what it means if they team up against you? Come on, we're not serious. You should understand this better than I do. Mm. I already told you I made a mistake and there is still time to rectify that mistake. So don't let that bother you. I can handle the situation as yes, I can. Um, that's by the way. What about your daughter? Is she um, still alive? <laughs> My Lord Sirius, she's still alive mm. and kicking mm. at this moment. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she promised to visit me soon. Mm. Uh, yes, Mark. You've been singing since you came back this afternoon. What is it all about? Uh, yes, indeed, uh, my landlady. Uh, God has finally remembered me. Uh, I've just been promoted in my place of work. Really? Yes. Praise God! Hallelujah. That calls for celebration. Uh, indeed. Uh, but uh, I don't know what to offer a big woman like you. Mark, if you are sure you are excited, dip your hand in your pocket and give me something. Let me celebrate with you. <laughs> Madam, you know I don't have enough here. Maybe you can manage this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I will buy drinks in your name. Yeah. Madam, this is a big promotion. A big promotion God has done for me. Yes, yes. Madam, if you are going to be alone by the weekend, in fact, I'm going to call the old village and my boys and everybody, I will do a big party for them. Yes. <laughs> Mark, Mark. Yeah, my evil lady. Mark, Mark. My evil lady. <laughs> I'm part of it. Yeah. Eh? I'm part of it. See, Dad, I missed you so much. I don't think you did. Because I know what people do when they miss someone. Or maybe that charming prince made you forget your lovely father. Come on, Dad. <laughs> there is nothing like that. Oh, nothing like what? Nothing like the charming prince or he did not make you forget me? No charming prince. <laughs> you are lying, Susan. And you know <laughs> that I know you are lying. All right, Dad. There is. But I was scared you wouldn't want to meet him. Why not? Why won't I like to meet him? Hmm? Please, let me see that young man that has stolen the heart of my lovely daughter. You know your happiness is my happiness. Really? Yes. I can't wait to tell him <laughs> that we are even engaged. Really? I was scared to tell you. <laughs> but now I'll invite him over so he can meet you. Please, I can't wait. Thank you, let me see. I will. This young man. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, love. Hope you're cool. Yeah, I'm okay. Have you met your dad? Yes, I have. But guess what? Dad wants to see you. 
something you told him about us? Yes, I did. I even told him about our engagement and he was so excited. He can't wait to see you. So, it's up to you now. When are you coming over? Uh, okay, okay. Well, um, this is what we do, eh? How about next weekend? Um, that will be cool. Okay. I love you, baby. I love you too. Bye. My Lord Sirius, my case is against one of my tenants who gives my heart unrest. He has been promoted at his place of work. I want that joy to turn into sorrow. You know how to bring him here, do what? Mark, as I look at this money that you gave me to intimidate me, my hatred for you grows. I want to use it as a point of contact to summon you to this altar. Appear right now. You have my authority to place a curse or curses upon him as you so desire. Go on. I curse you this day. I crush the pot of your wealth. You shall beg for food. And soon your rent will expire. And I will have reasons to throw you out of my house. Even a dream. Ah, oh, Susan. Baby, you even fed me my dream. That was so beautiful. I can't wait to be with you again. I wish this dream could last a little bit long, longer. Can I find my way back to this dream? of your summon was unprecedented. Are we under attack? Margaret has consciously trod down the tail of the lion and she must be taught a very bitter lesson.
My son, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Daddy, he's Jack, the one I told you about. Really? Yes, sir. Yes, Daddy. Hmm. He's such a good looking, handsome young man. Thank you very much, sir. Once again, you're welcome. Yes. Yes. I really have to get you something to drink. No, 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 Daddy. No. You don't have to bother about that. Please. No. Can you say again like that? Our tradition says when a guest comes to your house, you offer him cola. And besides, he has not been here before. So, let me go and offer him something to drink. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh! <laughs> the color matches. Daddy. <laughs> yes. I just lost my job. <laughs> I lost my job. Where do I go from here? The only source of income I have. Where do I go from here? How do I cope? <laughs> you will not understand how I'm feeling about this. You people are just controlling me. You don't know how I feel. <laughs> Hey. His job? The job he got promoted not too long ago. Hey. Man, you just lost his job. Huh? That's unbelievable. Mark, how did it happen? Oh, oh, my lady, I just lost my job. I lost it. I lost my job. Oh, oh, the same man that got me promoted as the best employee of the company uh, saw me today and said he hates me so much. Uh, before I could utter a word, he said I'm fired. <laughs> Where do I go from here? Where do I go? How do I go? Oh, 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 oh. This is wickedness. Who could have sacked a hard-working man like Mark? Oh. Oh. Mark, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry. Go to provide another work. Yes. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Mark. Mark. Take care. Oh. I don't know why you are looking as if you don't know why we called you. And that is the truth. I don't. I am not a witch. And there is no way I will know why you sent for me when you have not said anything. You were the one who called for the initial meeting. Moa. Margaret. When? How? When did I send for you? Or when did I call for initial meeting? I did not. Yay! Hey. We discussed this in this same panel. 
and we agreed to invite a man of God to pray for us tomorrow. No one. We actually hmm. called you here now because of the family prayer we agreed to hold before inviting the men of God. And it's tomorrow. And we have not done anything. Nothing. But they had my phone. Oh, are we not going to pray tomorrow again? Let's suspend it for now. Chibo. Hey now, why? I remember. Let's suspend it. <laughs> After all, no why? You said I'm the head wife, didn't you? You said I'm the head wife. Hey now, let me take my decision and decide when we are going to have. Um, useless people. I come why? I'm a woman. I want to be free. No, 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 This is not my place. Why would she suggest that we stop what we've been working for weeks? Why? Oh, why? Why are you pouring out all your grievances before me? I know all of them. I'm used to them. Why you are pouring out before me now is what I don't understand. Are you blaming me for all of them? No one is blaming you, Dad. Okay, why are you lamenting before me? Why? Uh, Dad, you are our father. If we don't lay our grievances before you, then who do we meet? No, but the point is, you shouldn't actually be presenting your grievances before me. And the reason is simple. I have done everything a father should do for his children, for all of you. I sent you to the best school in the country. You are still living with me. I should be the one complaining, not you. Dad, we try our best. It's just that sometimes it is... Your best is not good enough. I have to try harder. Dad, hmm? how can one be putting all effort and nothing is changing? And all he gets as encouragement is try harder, do more. Daddy, we're not lazy and we're not holding back. So something is definitely wrong somewhere. If you have convinced yourself that you put in all the effort you can and your efforts are not working out, then go back to the proverbial drawing board. Start afresh. Find out what the problem is. Look, you people are relaxed. You are feeding on the words I have amassed for you, which is understandable. And this is why you're not working hard. You know that you have this world there to nibble at. That's why you're not working hard. So who are you going to blame for that? It can't be the problem, Dad. Because we can never survive without you. Good! That's why I love you as my daughter. You have just hit the nail on the head. Because you cannot survive without me, you are being parasitically dependent on me. That's why you're not working hard enough. Who should be complaining? Come on, brother, it was just a dream. I mean, how can you let a mad dream come between you and the woman you love and have just engaged? I mean... Ivan, I know it's a dream. But the thing is, this dream seems so real. So real. It looks real, but it's not real. For crying out loud, brother, the Susan you and I know loves you so much and won't do anything to hurt you. <sighs> but the thing is... I don't understand what I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Ever since after that dream, I don't feel anything for her anymore. I don't. But I will say it's your fault. It's your fault because you allow this unnecessary fear to cloud your affection for her. But I will give you this advice. Please do something about this before it gets worse. You will regret it if you lose that girl. Trust me on this. Please do something. I beg you. Eh? 
Come on. My angel. Talk to daddy. What happened? Daddy's Jack. He's been avoiding me. He's not been taking my call or replying any of my tests. Why? Was there a fight? Of course not, Daddy. We had no disagreement. That's why I'm confused. Hmm. I don't know why she should be doing this. Maybe he's fed up with you. And he's now seeking for straws to end things with you. Or probably he may be with another woman somewhere right now and he is enjoying himself and you are here crying out your heart. It's not fair. That's not possible, Dad. Jack is not such a guy. Okay. What do you think the problem is? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm off to his place. I will advise you not to do that. You have prestige to protect. Okay? It's not easy, Dad. Jack is my happiness. I can't let him go. Wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Jesus. Father, it is written in the word and entire duty of a man is to worship thee and glorify the holy name. Father, we call upon thee this day. 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 But I guess principalities and powers. Power. Father, because you have given us power, O Lord, Father, I have to turn up one man that is coming up, O Lord, Father, I have to. We believe that the day, O Lord, Father, I have to. We shall be born in the country of the name of Jesus. Father, I ask thee, O Lord, Father, I have to take control in this. Jesus. Jesus is not than you. Every foul spirit from the pit of hell. I command you all over there by the power of the Holy Spirit. My Lord Sirius, you summoned me. I did. We have just lost one of our faithfuls to a disgusting fellow. 
And this is a declaration of war. Then send me to avenge the demise of the faithful. Thank you. I am sending you to the house of Pastor Godfrey, the one who serves the faithful one, the righteous one. I want you to try as much as possible to bring me every member of the household. If you cannot, at least get me one. Get me one into the covid I will take it from there. They have caused me so much pain. Go! Your wish is my command, Lord Cyrus. Thank you. doing here? I came to beg for food. I'm very hungry. I've not eaten anything since yesterday. Why did you come here? I don't know. Something just moved me to come here. Can't you help me with anything to eat? There is nobody at home. I'm just a house help. I can give you food. I'm not hungry for any particular kind of food. I'm hungry, I'm starving to death. Anything, just give it to me. I'm starving to death. I'm an orphan. An orphan? Just let go. Wait, come with me. into the house and said he was starving. I had to give him something to eat. Come with me. Now, what was the meaning of Cassandra? How could you bring a stranger from nowhere and take him into the house? I'm sorry, Uncle. He, he said he was hungry. And so what? Listen to me, Sandra. This is not the best of times. Okay? You don't know who is who. Now, don't try such nonsense again. I'm, I'm sorry. It won't, it won't happen again. Now, get out. Get out! What's this? What sort of thing is this?
and that shall never end. Hmm? What is it? Mm -hmm. I saw our lady son today. You mean the man? Yes. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hey, I saw him walking endlessly. Hey! So finally, that handsome boy is handling one match. Mm -hmm. Eh? Hey! Oh. I don't know what is happening to that family. The husband and the two children died some years ago under mysterious circumstances. How did you know? You don't have eyes. Hey. Can't you hear stories? Are you blind? My dear, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Eh? I don't know what to say. You see, you see that our language. I don't mm -hmm. trust her. I don't trust her woman. She looks like a witch in my eyes. Mm -hmm. She is a witch. Hey! You know this black and white cat? That is what she is. Oh God. You see that her daughter? You pity her. I, 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 sometimes I imagine who will marry that girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. I pity her because I don't know whether they know that their mother is a witch. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Hey, I don't know what to say again. No. Hell, may God help, help us. them. All. May God help us too. Lord. Step forward. For sacrificing your children without giving away the secret of this altar, I hereby compensate you straight forward your end. Thank you, my Lord. Sir. My Lord, please permit me to summon two of my tenants who have been talking ill about me. I want them summoned before my Lord series this minute. Do you have my permission? Lucy and Olivier, for abandoning your business to create time to gossip with my name, I hereby summon you to this altar this minute. You can place your curse on them now as you wish. I don't need your life because you have no life. I want your tongues and eyes this minute. <laughs> Little demon. My Lord, sir. Step forward. How is your assignment coming? Very has said the court to visit. And was well attended. They fed me well, and I want to return favor. Good. Every good turn deserves another. Now stretch out your hands. Bring them back. Thanks, my Lord, sir. <laughs> Mother, 
Mais where is your son? What I saw is true. So you're a witch. Mother, you are behind everything that is happening in this family. That you are a wish. Yes, you are. Mother, I see. You struck him with madness because he threatened to expose you. If you know what is good for you, just go back there and reverse whatever you've done to him. Because if you refuse to, I personally will expose you. I will expose you to the world. I swear to this. Don't try me. This woman that called herself my mother. I must expose her. Must. God. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't keep quiet again. I must. I must. That which is born of me shall never rise to make a mock of me. What a man intends to do is known to him alone. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Ivan, yeah. please check the door.
Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive my stupidity, I beg you, please, I'm sorry, please. Jack, I just want to know why you've been avoiding me. I don't know what came over me. I don't even have any reason to justify this, but please, I'm sorry, please. Please. Our fear is that they are bonding together. How can they bond together under my nose? So I decided not to bother. That means automatically there's a problem. What problem? That has not been picking my horse. I spoke with my mom and she told me a family company has turned into a war zone. And that has refused to do anything about it. War zone? What kind of war zone? We shall find out when we go home and check. <laughs> my husband is out of the country. Listen, Annabelle, this is our family. We must show consign. You can just come. After everything, you go back home. Let me call my husband. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go on. has befallen my family. Hey, God! What tragedy are you talking about? Chine, Chine, my only surviving sister. Chine, yes, yes, Chine. What about her? Her friend just called now that she was involved in the ghastly Muslim accident. And she died on the spot. God. She came my only surviving brother. He's running mad in the streets. What kind of life is this? Hi! God. Honey. <sighs> Honey, you have to relax, okay? You have to relax. Please. <sighs> Please. <sighs> you know, right now I think you should see your mother. No! Do not mention that woman to me. Never! Hey, why are you here? I was calling the 
last time you came. I know. That's why I came to thank you for feeding me, Daddy. I bought this for you. Short bread. For me? How did you get it? I thought you said you are an orphan. How did you get the money to buy it? I have an auntie that I stay with. She traveled that day and I was hungry. That was why I came. Thank you. Take now. Please don't say no. Please stay. I bought it for you. Please don't say no. Please now. Greetings to you, my Lord Sirius. Master Sucker, what troubles you this time? I am sorry to bother you at this your resting hour. My Lord, it's all about my daughter and her lover. They are back at it again and they are very happy. I thought they are supposed to be separated by now. Well, this is not the art to discuss that. Let's talk about it tomorrow at the temple. Eh? All right. All right, sir. What are you eating, Sandro? Shortbread. Shortbread. Who gave you shortbread? My, 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 my friend. The often I give food the other day. What? You mean that stranger came in here, gave you shortbread, and you are eating already? Now I'm sure you didn't even pray over it. Yes, yes. I, I forgot. Will you shut up? Now get out. Come back here, come back. Come back. This is your long truth, eh? It will kill you one day. A stranger came in here from nowhere, gave you short bread, and you're eating without even praying over it. Now this means everything we've been teaching you in this house has been falling on deaf ears, isn't it? You don't even learn. Now get out. Get out! Sandra, this is no dream. You are just being initiated into the dark world. You now have power. Power to unlock this house. Deliver your master to us. 
You fail in this responsibility. And you are history. Don't tell anyone this. Your life is in your hands. Son. Mom. What is this news about you killing someone at school? And the police searching for you everywhere. Tell me it is not true. Mom, is this true? Mom, it is true. It is true. How do you mean it is true? Did you become a killer? Mom. That's what I don't understand. Hey! I don't know what has come over me. Mom, this is not me. This is not me. Hey. I'm finished. Oh, God. You are not. Eh? You are not. It shall be well, okay? No, Mom. No, it can't. It has gone beyond that. Mom. Police are all over looking for me. They are searching for me, Mom. Mom. No, I'm finished. You are not finished. This is not me. This is not me. You are not finished, my son. Eh? Your father and I we do our possible best to make sure that that case is closed. I promise you that. Okay? I promise. So we we'll try our best. Oh? Thank you, Mom. Stop Thank crying. you. Oh my god. Stop crying. Stop It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Who's who's. Oh. Yeah, hello? Hello, Bella. How are you? Who is this? <laughs> I'm your mother. Don't tell me that you've forgotten about me. Even my voice. Jesus Christ. How did you get my number? Am I not your mother again? Your problem is that you keep underestimating me. Don't forget that the toughest cannot travel without its shell. No! I'm like... This can't be. God. God. This can't be. This can't be. Hi. And my fortress. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and the rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Temple. What is wrong with your mom? Temple. What is wrong with your mom? Temple. Temple, she has been sick. Very, very sick. Hmm? I'm fine. I'm fine. And the worst is that the doctors, they've not said anything reasonable. They keep on telling me medically she's okay. That what troubles her is psychological. I don't just understand it. And she keeps on getting worse day by day. She keeps on getting worse. I don't, I don't just... Oh God. I don't just know what to do. This is, this is bad. This is bad. Come here, Temple. What is this I'm hearing about you murdering somebody? Is that true? Don't ask me. Because I don't know what to tell you. I am as confused as you are. What are you talking about, Temple? Are you trying to tell me you did not do it? Temple. I did it. I did it. 
did it. But when and where, that is not, I cannot tell. Please, I'm confused. I, I don't know what came, what came over me. Please tell me, I, as if another spirit is inside me. Please, you're my brother. Please tell me what to do. What do you think I should do? As I'm talking to you now, police have declared me wanted criminal. I'm confused, Sam. Sam, please tell me what to do. They, they don't even know that I'm here. It's only you and my mom that know I'm here. You know I cannot hide forever. So of course. You cannot hide forever. That would be stupid. You can't. You have to turn yourself in. Turn yourself in. That is the wise thing to do. No. No, I cannot. I cannot turn myself in. Because if I do it, I'll be a dead man. I cannot do it. No, Tempo. Turning yourself in is the wisest thing you can do. That is the wisest thing you can do. No, I cannot. No. Sam, I cannot. I can't. This, this is my life you're talking about. I cannot turn myself in. Please. Tempo, you are I cannot lie to you. Turn yourself in. No! No, please, no! As far as I'm concerned, that woman is supposed to be what we are meant to discuss about and not Temple. I mean, what's wrong with you guys now? Temple is just a disgrace to this family. Seriously? Yeah? Joe is right. It's a disgrace. Yeah, Joe, you're right. Wow. Look, we have here, guys. It's Temple. Bad egg. Serious. Uh -huh. What did he get in here? How did he? What? What do you expect from a criminal like him? Anita, will you shut up? Please don't shut me up. That's what he's a criminal. Shut up! Yes! So, why are you shutting so, up? So, she so, just so, 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 Tempo. What? So, Tempo, this is it, right? You've decided to destroy the good image of this prestigious family. What is wrong with you? Oh, destroy shit. Destroy what? Ah. Listen, destroy what? Hey, Tempo! What are you trying to do? You want to Tempo. fight him? You want to fight him? Beat what him. will you do to him? Tempo. What will I do to him? him. Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah
Yes. What? Why are you staring at us like that? I, I, I want to tell you something. Didn't you just say you have something to tell us? They were listening. I, I forgot what I wanted to say. You've what? I what I wanted to say. This girl is stupid. No! I think her problem is over here. And it's beginning to have negative effects on me. Come on, we get out of here. Well, 
In that case, bend to the mic. Yes, you can do it. You can see the information. I'm standing up there. I don't know. Let's do it. I see your problems. Go, go, go. Dad. One sec. Yes. Dad. Dad. Would you want to leave too? If you want to lock the door. I brought you into this world. Whatever you are today, I made you. And now you talk to me as if I were your kid. You talk to me with plenty of disrespect. I gave you out in marriage to husbands I chose for you. Today you brag about your husbands and all their achievements and how wonderful your homes are. You have overstepped bounds. Yes, you have overstepped bounds. I will break those homes. I will bring you back from your husband's homes to stay with me permanently. You have treated me with plenty of contempt. And now you will be part of that abode that you so vehemently condemn. You are now separated from your husbands. You will come back here and stay with me and you will not go anywhere again. Let me see what you will brag with henceforth. Children of the underworld, once again you are welcome. You all seem to have forgotten how we operate here. You all are supposed to be the pains and sorrows of your various homes. You are supposed to be causing catastrophe, confusion, and he hurt in your various homes. Black rat, stand up. You are not honoring the name Black Rat. You are supposed to inflict serious pain in your master's home. You are supposed to weaken your master's wife and bring her to me. Are you sleeping over that? I'm sorry. I've been trying to work on her these days. I promise to bring her to Lord Sirius. Time is of the essence, Black Rat. You need to sit up and press up to that challenge. I'm expecting results soon enough. Sam Tochi, his wife. Oh my God. Mother, how did you get my number?
and that makes me wonder what exactly is the issue you have with your son because he flares up each time I talk about coming to visit you. Really? Okay, that that would be nice. Wait, I'll, I'll address. What are you talking to? Honey, you won't believe it. It's your mother. She's on the line. I won't get me. Don't you ever speak to her again? By the way, how did she get your number? I don't know. She said someone gave it to her. Jesus. Only what is going on? Just do as I said. Don't talk to her again. Never! Patience, okay? Food will soon be ready. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, how is school? School is fine. And I hope you and my brother are moving on fine. Yes, we are. Okay. Though, problem may arise, just like in every relationship. But we always fix it and move on. I'm so happy to hear that. And I'm happy you guys are back again. Same here. I'm happy too. Yeah. <laughs> You remember the business deal I told you I was working on for the past few months? The one involving these Chinese expatriates? The one, the guys from Hong Kong, the one I told you about? Yes, yes, I remember. Oh, the, the business I invested on my body and everything. These guys just suddenly pulled out, just like that. They just pulled out from the business. I've invested my body, I've invested my time, everything. I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. Why are you embarrassing me? What kind of thing is this? Please! Excuse me. Stop it now! Who are you? What is your name? My name. It's not necessary. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What kind oh. of animal is this? It's okay. The book is somewhere. Okay, that's somewhere. What are you Are you crazy? Get off me! Rubbish. Eight. I 
want to relax when the kitchen is in such a mess please go and place the kitchen in order before my mom meets you here go Of you calling me a lazy girl, so I said work harder. What are that fast? Actions are not ordinary, seems to be clearer by the day. How do you mean? What happened? The policeman just left the building for too long. Again? And they came with me, for example. Again? Yes. Why? They said the believed Temple ripped the girl because they found his shoes at the scene of crime. Temple ripped a girl. And left the shoes behind where? Somewhere where he ripped the girl. Oh God. He slipped in, committed the crime, and probably left his miserable shoes at the scene of crime. That is all you get from him. That is what he has subjected the family into. What, what, what is this? What, what is going on in this in, in this house? How could Temple rape a girl? What, what is this? Oh Jesus, what, what is really going on? The this is... has happened. What happened now? What again? Annabelle just came back to the house with her bags. What for? She said her husband has ended their marriage. What is really going on in this house? Oh, what is this? The this ones is... that are not married are begging a few months back. Why the ones that are married have been sent back? This is just a big So, what are you talking about? You have a fight? That's enough. That's enough. I'm just the issue of almost misunderstanding. Why is it that she leave himself? And if I thought that was going to kill me, I thought it was a joke. That he put a gun on me. What? You mean Hillary actually put a gun on you? He would have killed me. 
Television. That I was watching a movie yesterday, then I couldn't see it clearly, then I caught one wire. Caught him? Yes, sir. What kind of evil child are you? I told a mistake. This is how you spoil valuable things in this house. Hmm? You are nothing but pains to my life, and I will not take it anymore. Come here, I will kill you. Here. Leave him alone, you will kill him for me. I'm afraid of what is it. I will kill him. This child is useless. He is nothing but pains to my life. Listen, I will not allow you to kill the only child I have. Eh? Uh, yes, I will not. What, do, what has he even done that makes you want to kill him for me? What? You're asking me. Just tell me so that I will replace all of them for you. You are asking me. Okay. Look at our television. The other time it was DVD. The refrigerator! Everything in this house is packed! Uh -huh. eh? uh -huh. And it's, so? It's better for me to keep a dog than this evil child in this house. Oh, you want me to wait on this boy? Set the whole house on fire! This child who is mine. Who is not fair? Leave my child for me! Don't touch my child for me! Leave the child! You want to kill him? This is the only child I have, and I will not allow you to touch him again. Don't touch him! Whatever it is, I will replace it! Mm. Please! This is how you spoil him, eh? Let's go. This is how you spoil this boy. Evil child. Can you imagine? All the electronics in this house. Master, my father whipped me with his belt this evening. I want you to condemn that hands of his and make him wretched because I hate him so much. Your wish shall be granted. Red serpent. I shall present your case to the great master. Count it done. Children of the underworld, once again you are welcome. You all seem to have forgotten how we operate here. You are not getting the desired result anymore. The great master is not happy with this department. You all are supposed to be the pains and sorrows of your various homes. You are supposed to be causing catastrophe, confusion and hurt in your various homes. Black rats, stand up. You are not honoring the name Black Rat. 
You are supposed to inflict serious pain in your master's home. You are supposed to weaken your master's wife and bring her to me. Are you sleeping over that? I'm sorry. I've been trying to work on her these days. I promise to bring her to Lord Sirius. Time is of the essence, Black Heart. You need to sit up and press up to that challenge. I'm expecting results soon enough. I need to deliver him to them. If I feel they will kill me. What do I do? What do I do? Sandra! Get up! You don't need to sleep here without our usual night prayers. I'm not talking to you. Sandra! Get up! You are sick. What kind of sickness is that? Sandra! Sandra! I, I can't get up. I'm, I'm catching cold. Ah, I sent you to call Sandra, where is she? She's sick. She can't come out. Sick? Yes. She's when? Dad, what is wrong with that girl? I think she's possessed. Come on, Daniel. Be mindful of the kind of things you say. How could you say she's possessed? I'm sorry, ma'am. But she gives me a reason to so believe. Why would she always fall sick at night? I think she's possessed. Daniel, just shut up if you do not know what to say. It's alright, it's alright, sweetie. It's alright. Let us not be distracted. Hmm? It's just that I really needed us to pray together this night, in the last night of my travel. And Sandra has refused to come out. Let me go and call her. No, 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 it's alright, it's alright. Don't worry, later I will go and pray for her. Hmm? What happened to you? Tell me, what exactly happened to you? An incident between this and this afternoon, no. Oh. Since then, I've been feeling severe pain in this same hand, though. I'm even getting weak. <sighs> and you're still here? Why are we not going to the hospital to see a doctor? Listen, we have to go. But what kind of insect was that? I don't know. I've never seen that kind of insect before. I've already seen a doctor. And they conducted some tests on me. Have to bear the pains until the results are out. Dad, should I get you some painkillers? Oh! It's too Cotton. much. It's too much. If you don't know what to say, just shut up. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh God. Oh, that mercy. What kind of thing <laughs> is this? Sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's hot. It's okay. Sorry.
not going to move freely. I'm going to force it. Now move. 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 For school, is, there, is everything okay? Oh my God, he's paining me. I don't know. Should I, should I, should I get drugs for you across the street? Yes, please do. Get me my purse, please. Okay, ma. Temple is temple and dad is dad. They are different individuals under the law. Honestly, I see no reason why the police should come threatening to arrest dad for a crime committed by Temple. It's impossible. I, I, I can't comprehend it. So, we are sounding like this because we are not there. The three armed officers that refused to be intimidated by your father were here. They threatened that. Your father should provide temple or he will be arrested. That's around nonsense. <laughs> Mom, that is around nonsense. Honestly, I can't get it. Why are we all suffering like this? Look at Annabelle. The innocent Annabelle. Who's also chased out of her husband's house for no just cause. Mom, what is actually happening? What? Son, have you not heard? What? We are talking of Anada being chased out. Christy is also back home. She's in the house with us. Back home? Back as in how? Her husband sent her back. Mom. Mom. This. This is impossible. I saw Christy a few days ago, heavily pregnant. Honestly, mom, what is happening? Her husband sent her packing, even with the pregnancy. Eh? It's quite disturbing. I can't imagine that. Mom, what is that doing about us? If I has got future, I don't mind giving up of my wealth, all for the sake of your happiness. But it's not. You can't possibly say that, Dad. You do not know Jack. 
He's a hard-working and an ambitious young man. He's got future. He has got no future. And that is why I am telling you to stop whatever you have going on with him. Dad, we are engaged. Return his ring. I can't, Dad. I'm sorry. I am sorry too. Because I am not going to give you a time to return it. My son, we are finished. Everything your father has worked for has just disappeared in a twinkle of an eye. His shop was gutted by fire. And even all the goods that arrived yesterday from Wharf, it's all raced down. He's a liar. So, I don't know what to do. What do I do now? What dream was that? I don't understand it. And I know that dream must be from the pit of hair. Not for the children of God. Oh, Jesus is more than you. pretend that all is well. Just imagine how comfortable you feel. There is this Igbo adage that says, a man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Give me that attitude. Your house is on fire, and you know it. A man whose two daughters have been chased or sent packing by their husbands, and one of the sons has been declared a wanted criminal, is claiming that his house is not on fire. You want me to do for these people you just mentioned? Tell me. You want me to cover up for my son who is a criminal? No, I will not do that. You want me to compel the husbands of my daughters to take them back? No. Listen, you can't force a woman on a man who does not want her. Right? They had issues with their husbands, and their husbands sent them packing. My now you want me to go and compel them to take them back? No, I will not do that. It doesn't mean that my heart is on fire and I'm chasing rats. No, you have to do something. At least, Annabelle, my daughter, 
your lovely daughter. She's six weeks pregnant and she can't give birth to that baby in your house. Please, get involved. Call the husband and talk to him. I know he will listen to you. Thank you. Annabelle, your stupidity brought you back to this house. The news that you're pregnant is not pleasant to my ears at all. Upon the altar of confusion planted in this abode, I hereby terminate that pregnancy. Only that woman is your mother. I don't know what she did to you for you to hide your family away from her. Ever since I got married to you, I have not met your mother. Neither have our kids. Only for how long do you intend to conceal this from her? As long as she's alive. Honey, don't say a thing like that. I will say it and I will continue to say it. My mother is not a good woman. She's evil. Babe, she does not deserve to see any member of my family. And I have decided not to set my eyes on her until she's dead. It's not life to you. No. Huh? No. I want to see my mother-in-law when she is still alive. No matter how bad a woman she is, she's still your mother and my mother-in-law. Honey, please, I beg you, go to your mother and put things right. No! Never! Don't bother me about this, okay? I have warned you to stop taking her calls. If you continue, I will seize that phone from you. I will do it.
Come on, Jared. 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 Come I'm scared of telling anyone. What could it be, my dear? This pregnancy. I don't understand what you mean by this pregnancy. It is long overdue. Oh. I don't understand what you mean by that. I have been pregnant for over a year now. Jesus and Christ. baby is not showing any sign of coming out. Take him away. It, it was so weird. I just can't understand it. What scares me most about it is the consistency of it. I mean, I've had this dream almost every night. Then you don't just need to pray about it. You also need to fast about it. Someone told me that if one flies in the dream, it means one can easily escape from any danger or any spiritual attack. Who told you that? A man of God. If a man of God actually told you that, it means I'm saved. Mom, I can't believe you just said that. I don't think what the said man of God told Amara is the right translation of such act in a dream. For real? But what does it mean then? I can't really tell. But I know for certain that you're under some spiritual attack. You need to fast and pray about it. Maybe dad will know the meaning of the dream. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! How are you? Hey. Welcome, Dad. How are you? I'm good. Mm. Oh, 
can actually come from a hospital when you left this house sick this morning. That's why I said you should guess. Baby, <laughs> you, yes. you're pregnant. Yes. Ah! It's three weeks pregnant. My goodness, this is good news. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. <laughs> Is exciting about this whole thing. I mean, what is the essence of bringing a newborn baby into this untold hardship, this wicked world, the miserable world? I don't even have a dime anywhere to take care of the pregnancy, let alone taking care of a newborn baby. Come on, love. Don't sound that way. Everything is going to be fine. Besides, we are managing. But for how long? For how long will I keep depending on you? How long will you be kind to both of us? Just look at me. Sweetie, everything I have is yours. Don't sound as if you're indebted to me. Just be patient. Everything is going to be fine. I promise you. Everything is going to be fine, okay? allowed you has expired. Have you taken care of your son yet? My lord, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried all I could but failed. Please, my lord, I beg for second chance. You ask for the impossible. No offending soul gets a second chance. You must embrace the fate that awaits all transgressors. I am sorry. Please! Please, my lord, 
Please. Please, I beg you. You must leave my presence now. Now. Mama, this is why I've been avoiding you all these years. You are reason behind what happened to my father and my younger ones. Look at you. I am a demon. You are a demon. You have no heart. No human heart. When I spend your life, come on, Bernard. Don't be ridiculous. Do you know why I reveal that to you? I can still harm you if I wish. Mama, what do you want from me? Simple. Stop running away from your mother. See me as an innocent child sees the mother. I want to shame the enemy who believe that I have destroyed my family. You are all I have left, Bernard. I am not all you have left. Tiki is out there running mad in the streets. You place me in that condition. So be fast. Bernard, I don't have a hand in what is happening to Liar! you. Liar! You are lying. And as for what you want from me, you will never get it. No reason to even call you my mom again. As for my family, stay away from them. Should anything happen to them, should they have any scratch, I promise you, my God will judge you forever. You should have realized that you needed your family so much before you sold your soul to the devil. Bernard, you will regret this decision of yours. Bernard, you will regret it. Bernard. You must have slept up by now. <laughs> no. After a long journey, you must be very weak. I'm waiting for you to come and tell me what you wanted to say. Uh, who is that? Daniel. He said you had a dream. I want to hear oh, it. Honey, please. I do not want you to bother yourself with my personal troubles. Right? Really? Don't you think you're wrong there? Look, whatever that bothers you should bother me too. I know. But please, let us sleep for now. I mean, we have enough time to talk about issues. All right? Really?
She's finally here. The prayer warrior. The humble servant of the Most High. The woman behind Pastor Godfrey's ministry. I finally brought her by the tears. <laughs> Drink. Drink it. Good. Good. Welcome to the world of the weird. We are all agents of darkness. Our principal assignment is to torment the world. Henceforth, you shall be known as Jezebel because you have become one of us. You represent animate wickedness and this you must inflict on the entire world. There will be no reservations at all. Now step forward. Stretch forth your hands. Henceforth, you have the power to assume any form you want. You have the power to seduce anybody you want. You have the power to conquer anybody you want. I am giving you your first assignment and you will not find it too difficult. Your first assignment is to ensure that your husband, who is an unflinching devotee of the righteous one, was be made to give up his devotion to the righteous one. They will drive a wedge between your husband and the righteous one. You will create a chasm between all the believers and the righteous one. Amen. You must bring your husband here. Your husband has been a source of spiritual inconvenience to all of us here. And he must pay adequately for being a problem to us. Is that clear? Do not act stupid. Any attempt to divulge the secret means your death. They always guide you. trying to understand what you are turning into these days. Are you talking to me? Mm -mm. Look, 
back again. We have many people here with us. Of course I'm talking to you Friday. I am talking to you. Hold on. Is this how responsible men behave? Wait, is this how successful men behave? You wake up every morning, sit back, feel nothing. Now, Juliet, tell me, what exactly do you want me to do? Good question. Wonderful question. I want you to go out there. I want you to run out there and go and do what other men do. You know I cannot do My business place got burnt with all the goods I imported. You know it. Mm. <laughs> what a wonderful excuse you have given. Freddy, are you saying you will not do anything to better your life? I have done all I could. You are my witness. Mm. <laughs> what else? Be a witness. You, what are you still doing? You didn't go to school. No, Freddy, you've not paid my school fees. My teacher said I should not come to school. So I've not paid my school fees. Eh. Mm -hmm. I have not paid your school fees and they say you should not come to school then stay in the house no, stay in the house so useless boy Freddy what are you saying? you are calling your own son useless? oh yes hmm. he's a useless child now I know I know you don't want to do anything for yourself and that is you have reduced yourself to a useless man Eh? You are nothing but a useless man! Juliet, did I hear you call me a useless man? No, if you didn't hear me, I will even shout it! Friday, you are a useless man! Ah! Father, it was so frightening. She showed me the kind of power that she possessed. <laughs> she simply waved her hand across a particular portion of the wall. And I said, I see my family from there. Hey! She said that she has her eyes on me all these years. That woman is evil. She had destroyed everybody in my family, including my father. I'm the only one left. Now she's after me. She will not succeed. You just have to be prayerful, Brother Bernard. The devil will never succeed over you. To you. I am scared. And that is why I came here. Because I need you now. Mm, you don't have to be scared. Fear is the only way the devil can weaken your faith. Or don't you think she has been trying to get to you all these years but failed? So that is why she mapped out this strategy to weaken your faith. And if you allow her, then you are finished. So I will advise you to be prayerful. Just be prayerful. This man is dead. He's dead? She killed my dad. She killed him. Got him. Why are you lying against me? You were here and you saw what happened. I didn't kill him. He started it. I only tried to save myself. I only defended myself. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to result to this. Woman, you are under arrest for murder. You have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say will be used in evidence against you. Please, stop listening Please, I need you to come and pray for my mother. She has been very sick, and the sickness is not physical. 
from every indication it is spiritual since the doctors have not been able to ascertain the actual cause of their sickness. Please. Brother Samuel, you don't need me to pray for your mother for her to be healed. You can also pray for her and she'll be healed. All you need is faith. Pastor, you don't understand. This is serious. Very serious. Pastor, if this were something I could have handled, I wouldn't be here. Something tells me that once you lay hands on my mother, that she will be fine. Please, Pastor, this is very important to me. Don't turn me down, please. Please. Your faith shall deliver your mother. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! Praise the living God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! There is something we call words of exaltation. They are undiluted words of faith from word of God that builds the faith of the weak. This, your weakness, is not ordinary. It is the handwork of the devil. But the devil shall not succeed. Amen. Amen. The devil shall not succeed. Amen. Amen. Then let the weak say that I am strong. I am strong. Let the weak say they are strong. I am strong. Let the weak say they are strong. My mother is strong. What is going on here? Uh, Dad, uh, nothing. Uh, we, we are just placed cover. We just placed I can see it. I said, what is going on in this compound? I have a very strong feeling that something is going on in this compound. If you don't tell me the truth, you know who I am. Now, what is happening in this compound now? Okay, Daddy. His brother Sam, he invited a certain man of God to pray for his mother. They are at the back. Let's see. I miss your food this time I'm away from home. Really? Yes. You enjoyed it? Of course, you know, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. So, then I have what happened to you. And I'm terribly sorry about that. But please do not let it weigh you down. Just believe and trust in God. I believe a better child 
or come that will stay. Okay? Thank you so much, Ivan. I was really devastated when I lost that pregnancy. But what scares me most ever since I lost that pregnancy is your brother. He's... He's changed. He doesn't spend time with me anymore. And... I don't know. Can you imagine he's still outside the house by this hour of the night? Hey, I hope you're not trying to cry. Please, don't cry. It's okay. I promise I will talk to him. Though he's my elder brother, but he listens to me. Okay? He will come back to the normal Jack he used to know. I promise you this. Please, Ivan. Just do that for me, okay? I will appreciate it. Please. I will talk to him. He's my brother, okay? Okay. Please don't cry. Alright? Okay, that's um come back yes. Would you people be able to fast and pray with me? Of course, Dad. Fasting and praying have become a part of our lives. We've been doing this since we grew up. So if you want us to fast and pray, we can. Good. Are you not ready? I'm ready. Good. Your mother is briefed already. We are going to observe three days fasting and praying starting from tomorrow. I have a living by the Spirit. There are spiritual forces operating in this very house and we really need to fight against them and chase them to where they belong. Hmm? Alright, Dad. Okay. Alright, for me too. So we start tomorrow, as you said. Good. That way is a lion. Have a good dance. Alright. Thank you, Dad. Why are you treating her that way? You know it's not her fault she lost the pregnancy. It's not about the pregnancy, Ivan. Of late, I've come to realize something. Everything doesn't seem to be alright with that girl. Oh. My spirit keeps telling me she's behind my problems. Problems? What are you talking about? Ivan. I know exactly what I'm talking about, but you may not understand. I think that girl is possessed. Possessed? I mean, okay, fine. Look at it this way. Who loses pregnancy the way she lost her baby? I mean, without an accident, nothing. Okay, fine. Okay, just look at me. I was doing very well before she came into my life. Uh -huh. But look at me today. I'm running Helter Skelter to borrow money from people just to start life again. <laughs> I understand your condition. But it sounds crazy when you believe Susan is behind your miseries. I mean, come on. At some point in life, a man experiences difficulties. Yes. It happens to everybody. That is the ups and downs of life. But the way you handle it defines you as a man. Please do not give Susan this impression. It's really going to break her heart. Please. Ivan, you don't understand. Second action! Lord of Jesus!
Einmal ab für dich, du. Einmal ab für dich, du. Hi. What is it? Oh, oh. Ab für dich, einmal ab für dich, du. What is it? Einmal. Hi, I'm gonna throw the thousand from somebody. Yes. Oh, my way back home. I'm gonna have a tank top. Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna. You need to take me money. Don't you get to me money? You are the cause of all this. You are the cause of all this. Mother! Starting our fasting today. So, we are married. Are we not husband and wife? Joined together in the holy matrimony? So, well, we are, but. No. No, but. You are my husband. I know. And we can do it any day, any time. Please. Come on, fasting please. or no fasting, come to the bedroom. No, please, we can't. No, no, no. no. Honey, let's go. Stop this. Stop it. Please, stop. Please. You know what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? I know you love surprises. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Treating me this way, you're breaking my heart. I just need you to understand something. I mean, just just look at me. I have a lot going through my mind right now. Okay, I'm going through a lot of things right now. Ever since I decided to settle down with you, everything about me has changed. I want to be in love, please. I'm asking for too much. Please. Okay, I'm going to give you some time alone, but promise me you won't chase me out of the house. And you also promise me that you will never come closer. I don't want your food. I don't want anything about you. I don't even want to see the room. Just go. Leave me alone. Just go. Ha, ha, ha. 
Daniel. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be taking your siesta. When did you people come back? Dad, why do I have this feeling that we are giving the devil a chance in this family? Hmm. That's a weird thing to say. What do you mean by that? Dad, we agreed on a two-day fasting and prayer. My sister and I are observing it. Uh -huh. What's this, Dad? What is the matter with you? You're just a child and mind the kind of things you say, okay? But mom, he says something important. Uh, look it, look it. You don't need to worry about the fasting and prayer anymore. God is in control. Look, I have talked to God in prayer and he assured me there is no cause for alarm. So you go in and take your siesta. Hmm? I can't believe you, Dad. We really have no cause for alarm. You heard your father. There is no cause for alarm. Just go in. God is in control, okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you kids? Huh. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, Daniel. Mom. Please. <laughs> Amara, come and have some um, some of this uh, watermelon. Thank you. <laughs> this is not what I planned. Confusion is the order I established here. Coming together. Like my sister, I say you are so good. <laughs> but I'm not. Mm. Listen, Anthony. I'm not angry with you. This is your life, and you have the right to live it the way you like. But please do me a favor. Stop telling people that I'm your girl, for I'm not. I have no man in my life, and I wish to remain like that. Okay? I know you, Clara. You don't have less than 15 of them. Hey, can I just call it there? Are you in that calling my sister is <laughs> Then what are you girls? You are prostitutes. Ah! Are you going to you what? You're insulting our sisters. What is wrong with you? Um, my friend, stay out this. Bro, I am disappointed. How can you call this slut, this buffoon? And what are we to him? Eh? Prostitute. You are mad. You are stupid. You are mad. You are stupid. You are out of your mind. You are mad. Thank you, Joe. Say I'm mad. She even has the right to accuse me of smashing her boyfriend. I mean, who takes a slot like her seriously? Huh? You are mad. Very mad. You are mad. Very mad. Very mad. Very mad.
already. It's time for me brick service. What is it, Amalachi? It's time for me brick service. And you're already late. <laughs> we should be in church. Please go. I want to sleep. You want to sleep? When is time for midweek service? He's going to preach. Ah, Marachi, anybody can preach now. Ah! Get out of here. I want to sleep. Go, go, and don't stop me again. Out! Sleep and does not want to be disturbed. What? What do you mean by that? That's what he said. This is stupid. Amara, do you agree with me that dad needs help? Not only him, mom too. They don't just want to admit it. I don't understand what's going on in this house. Mom and dad have become less spiritual. We don't even gather to pray like before. I don't really understand what's going on in this place. Let's go. What's the point? Now, Dad is supposed to hold a sermon tonight. We're simply going there to be embarrassed with so many questions. Please, I can't afford the embarrassment. Let's go back. Let's go. Jezebel. I'm not serious. What is it to you? He is my lawfully wedded husband. We were joined together in holy matrimony. We have two children from that union as witnesses. What do you desire we do with him? My love serious. He loves me so dearly. He provides for me everything I need and whenever I need them. But he antagonizes this altar. I want him stripped off all his spiritual powers. I want us to break completely every link he has with his creator. I want him to become an object of shame and mockery to the congregation he controls. <laughs> <laughs> My love, serious. I want God chained in this altar forever. And I want to have control of his entire life. All your wishes are granted. Jezebel. My love, Cyrus. In due course, I shall reward you amply for eliminating one of our biggest problems. Thank you, my love, Cyrus. Lady Payne. My lord. I warned you about your son, Bernard. And you vouched he was not going to be a source of inconvenience to anybody. Now he's not only a problem to you, but to this temple as well. I want you to go home and take care of him, all right? All right, my Lord Sirius.
afternoon, sir. Uh, hey, good afternoon. Yeah, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, is pasta around? not seen you in church for some days now. Even yesterday that was Sunday, you were absent from the church. Your kids said you were not feeling fine, so I decided to come and check on you. Yes, I was a little bit sick, but I'm fine now. Hmm? I'm okay now. Uh, how is your mother? She's not fine. She's not getting better. This is why I came here. Pastor, you promised you were going to come and see my mother since Saturday. I waited for you. You did not come. Oh, 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 oh. God, God, God. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry. It escaped my mind. Please, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Huh? Sorry, dear. But just remember what I told you last time. You don't need me to come and pray for your mother for her to be healed. Can as well pray for her. I should be free. Eh? Pastor, I don't think you understand the gravity of what I'm telling you. My mother is sick. Very sick. Pastor, you told me to observe three days fasting and prayers, which I did. It ended on Saturday. You told me once I was done, you were going to come and pray for my mother. You were going to come and see my mother. But I'm done, but I, I don't I said that. Yes, you did, Pastor. Well, I... God, I didn't remember saying that. But well, there's no problem. You know what is going to happen? You're going to observe another three days fasting. Hmm? This time around, I will come. Another three days fasting? Yes. Uh, Pastor, I, I need to... Pastor, is everything all right? Yes, fine. Alright. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. For you are highly lifted up. Let us hear the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord reaching us from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verses 10. It says, Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your God, so let nothing terrify you. I will make you strong and help you. I will protect you and save you. Those who are angry with you will know the shame of defeat. Those who fight against you will die. And they will disappear from the earth. I am the Lord your God. I strengthen you and say to you, do not be afraid, for I will help you. Amen. Our Lord and our God, gracious Lord Jesus, in your presence there is liberty, in your presence there is freedom, and today as a family we stand together and we come against every works of darkness, principalities and powers, we subdue them and render them. If 
fails to stink. The little children will have no option than to throw it into the fire. Bernard, you refuse to understand your mother. The same woman that gave you life, nurtured you. I am capable of taking the life away from you. Upon your resistance and provocation, I hereby terminate that life and that of your entire household. said there was nothing he could do. Now you're paying for your carelessness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my lord. I didn't know he has become this strong. Lady Paines, I am giving you three days. Just three days to take care of that idiot, or you will regret for as long as you live. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sandra, are they your friends? Yes, they're my friends. Wow. I am so excited today. I've never been this happy before. <laughs> yes, that's because you're beginning to appreciate my people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you and your friends for shopping. Yes, we need that to complement this new experience. <laughs> <laughs> Augustine when he was preaching in Greece and then I realized that Greece is everything. Just read it, you understand that or not? Wait a minute, Daniel. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Teaching me your mother, the scripture? No, no. I'm not teaching you the scripture. I'm just trying to make you understand that grace is what we need in this moment at a time like this. Welcome, Daddy. Welcome, Daddy. 
for six weeks. Why? He said I have a spinal complication. Spinal what? Why didn't sustain any injury? Ah, that's what the doctor said. Honey, uh, please, uh, can you get me some food? What's that? You're not supposed to eat. We are fasting, remember? Oh, kids. Well, I just told you people that I've been placed on drugs now. Huh? Dad, that can wait. I was just telling mommy about Grace before you came in. That Grace can... Can you kids please listen to yourselves? Your father is here dying, and you're here talking about Grace Day's favor or whatever, uh, fasting that. <sighs> Honey, please. Let me go in and get some food for you to eat, okay? You need to take your drugs, all right? What's that? Look, look. You kids don't understand the value of prayers more than I do. Health is paramount. Dad, this is not your talking. This is not you. And what are you doing? You don't need me anymore, Jack. I should go back to my father's house. Baby, it's not what you think. Please, I need you. I, I beg you in the name of God, don't leave me. I'm going through a lot right now. I don't even know where to start. Look, okay, fine. I'm sorry about the whole things I did wrong to you. I'm sorry about the days I ignored you. I'm sorry about the days I left your food on the dining without eating. I'm sorry about the days I left you on the bed, please. Baby, please, I need you, please. I beg you, please. Please. Me? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You hurt me real bad. I'm sorry, please. I don't know what is wrong with me. Please forgive me. I need you, baby, please. Special prayers, a gorgeous looking girl like you would need. Maybe the touch of an anointed man of God. Ah, of a man of God. Kneel prayer. down, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, in Are the kind of prayers again? Yeah. Okay.
for us. Even mom. Oh. I should have taught that lady a huge lesson. I shouldn't have obeyed him when he said I should let her go. Why did I even listen to him? He has lost the respect I once had for him as a father. But why is he behaving this way? He was not like this before. Or has he been pretending all this while? Amara. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe he's been a hypocrite all these years. Midweek service, and you're already late. Oh. We should be in church. Please go. I want to sleep. You want to sleep? When it's time for midweek service, he's going to preach. Ah, Marachi, anybody can preach now. Ah, get out of here. I want to sleep. Go, go, and don't disturb me again. Out. He scolded her. She messed up at school, and he scolded her. And you are this way, even when you knew you were at fault. What did you do? Did she you got into a fight, and Dad got to know about it. You should not have done that. Amara, you know where you're coming from. Daddy was right after all. So get into yourself, all right? And come inside. You didn't have to do that. Why did you do that? See, Amara, I know why I did what I did, okay? Our family would be ruined if mom gets to know what happened. Calm down. We'll talk to dad ourselves. Alright? Okay? The period of grace allowed you to have expired. Have you taken care of your son yet? Uh, my lord, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried all I could but failed. Please, my lord, 
I beg for second chance. You ask for the impossible. No offending soul gets a second chance. We must embrace the fate that awaits all transgressors. I am sorry for you. Please! Please, my lord! Please! Please, I beg you. You must leave my presence now. Now. Daddy this morning? No, I think he's still sleeping. Why? He promised me money to get something very, very important to me. And the person that will give the money to will soon be here any moment from now. What's this? Then you have to wait. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait. I can't wait. I have to wake him up. I really have to wake him up. Good morning. Good morning, love. Good morning, kids. How are you? I'm fine. Hi, Hope Dad is awake. Your daddy did not return last night. I tried to call him, but his phone was switched off. I don't know what is going on. Shut up! For encroaching into the dark forest where we bury the conscience of the benevolent, you already deserve death. But I will spare you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please show me the way out of this place. My name is Drachmas. You have a reason being here. So come down and follow my lead. Oh, free. Where did I go wrong? What did I do to deserve this? Oh my god! Oh my god, this is not happening! You! Pastor Godfrey! A man of God! Oh please, somebody tell me that I am dreaming! Somebody tell me that I am dreaming! <laughs> you pictures! Your photos are out there, on the internet, everywhere. A man of God, sleeping with the prostitutes on the streets. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> you promised to stop seeing that lady. What are you saying? 
You knew about this. We once caught them, Mom. But we didn't tell you. Because he promised it would change. You both knew about this and you decided to hide it from me. I wanted to tell you, but Daniel made me not to. And that promise he was going to change for good. Oh, look at it. That is it. He refused to change because you both were protecting him. Now he has made mockery of himself. He has made a jest of himself and his family. What a shame. What a shame. Oh God. Why me? Why the man I love and trusted so much? Why? Please. I'm so sorry. I feel like killing myself right now. Peter, you better kill yourself and stop yourself from this embarrassment. I'm so ashamed of you already. Just go kill yourself. Go and die. I love it so please. Please. You have every right to feel the way you're feeling right now. You have every right to be mad at me. I'm mad at myself too. Oh, please. Forgive me. Forgive me, this is all I can say. Spare me! Devils, do it! Spare me all that! Just spare me! Who is the devil? Enough. Where is he? Look at you! You are the devil himself! Welcome to the temple of the Great Order of the Red Demons. This order supersedes every other order in this universe. Be rest assured that the safety which you seek, you shall find. But before we make you one of our subjects, you have to make a demonstration of commitment to this order. I would have asked for your soul, but that you have pledged to another. Therefore, you must sacrifice the son of your only surviving son to this order. You have 24 hours to make this sacrifice. What? She has paid allegiance to the red demons. And you let her do that. Well, let's play her so that I struck her down. I didn't know what she did on the red demons. I didn't know. This means trouble. Trouble. Don't let it bother you. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Yeah. 
I got the word. Keep up your feet. We have broken the first law of our great order, and you know the consequences. You shall pay for it. Why trespass into our territory? Serious. You trespassed first by taking what belongs to me. I have come to pay back your trespass. This lady is mine. Release her to me. Then someone is mistaken here. You rejected her. You left her to die, and we came to savage her. Is that trespassing? She may have run to you, but she belongs to me, and I want her back. You rejected her, remember? She's now ours, not yours. So take your hand off what is not yours before you have yourself to blame. Serious. You are spoiling for a fight you cannot finish. But if this is the way you want it, Okay by me. You wait for me. I am coming. Continue. Nothing will happen to me. Just that. And you left her. You had her. You should have finished her. Do you know what it means if this message is being sent to the subject? Should this woman leave? I'm still in control. <clears throat> no, I don't want to do it. Control of what? Not serious. Why can't you admit that you have lost? Jed, what you're talking? You're talking to me. What you're talking? I'm sorry, my lord. I am not trying to sound disrespectful. I just hope you know what you are doing. I said I know what I am doing, I am in charge. I don't need you or anybody to tell me what to do. And you have annoyed me. You have annoyed me. You not happy with your looks? Even as a spiritual entity, you're still beautiful and glamorous. That is one major edge we have over that contraption where Sirius reign as Lord. Thank you. But there's something that bothers me. What is it? I have this night to sacrifice my grandson, but I'm scared because they are having a vigil and the priest with them is powerful and righteous. It requires me going in there to take the child myself, but I can't find strength to penetrate. I will be your strength. You don't need to worry. I will follow you there. Really? Yes. Thank you. I will forever appreciate you. Thank you. But will everything be all right? Everything will be all right, woman. I'll show you. I will follow you there. Get yourself equipped. And I will storm the vigil.
the Bible say in a book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15 he said they will surely gather but because their gathering is not of God he said they must scatter for your sake therefore I want you to open your mouth and begin to wage war against the kingdom of darkness against the witches and wizards everywhere they are gathered against this family let the Lord arise let the enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ stop misleading my children for they are mine I want you to take your hands off this family because every family has a room and that family has a room and that mistress and they call evil you are a liar for it is within Psalms chapter 24 verse 1 that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and everything in it including these walls you lie shut up in the name of Jesus you lie. I come against oh. you in the name of Jesus Why did you come down here? I reflected on all that has happened in this family and I lost interest in prayers. But I'm not stopping you from praying. You can go back upstairs and continue your prayer. But I don't want to be a part of it any longer. Is your faith, Daniel? What are all those things that you learned from Bishop Augustine? My faith has not really been shaken. It has been completely destroyed. I have lost faith in prayers. I have even lost faith in God. Amara, we grew up believing in righteousness because our parents brought us up that way. 
Now, where are our parents today? They are doing the exact things they taught us not to do. You know our parents are under attack. You even told me about it. Please, brother, let's help them. You think they can be helped? They, I know they need our help. And they know they can be helped. I have a feeling that that is under spiritual bondage. They need our prayers. Please, brother, let us help them. Please. Woman, before you came here tonight, God already revealed to me that you were going to come here to cause havoc. I want to tell you that it was God that brought you here. I was, I was possessed. I was possessed by the devil. They are the ones that forced me into destroying my own family. Hey, I never, I never knew what I was doing. Hey. Satan is the lord of manipulations. The Bible said in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, that his mission is to steal to kill and to destroy. But thank God for the grace that came with Jesus Christ. The devil is alive. And I tell you tonight that deliverance has come upon this household. Amen. Mama, now that you have repented, what now happens to Chiki, my brother? I still need mad in the streets. Eh? The Bible said there is joy in heaven over any soul that repents. I tell you, the kingdom of darkness is already in disarray because of her repentance. The same God that healed her and saved her from the kingdom of darkness. We free every captive in this family at his appointed time. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. going to be having midnight prayers tonight. For the family, right? I know. Don't forget to set your alarm. It's 12 30. I know. I've done that already. You can see for yourself. Oh. Alright. Good night.
I didn't wake up. Why did you wake me? I didn't wake up too. The alarm beeped and I tried to wake up. But I was so weak. Why is it that anytime we try to make this move, we always fail? It worries me. I've been thinking along that direction too. I don't think this is a situation we can handle. We need help. Look, Hamara. I think we need to invite a powerful man of God to pray for this family. Then, who do we call? My spirit tells me, Father Moses of the Holy Ghost Ministry. Let's rush him. I know Pastor Joshua, the one that was in the news some time ago. Yes, exactly why we're here, madam. My sister and I are convinced that something is seriously wrong with our parents. They've deviated from everything they taught us. Something tells us we need a priest now. Hmm. But you just confirmed to me that both of you are not Catholics. You can't just come in here and you want to see the priest. Please, ma. Help us because of God. We really need to see the priest. Yes, and most importantly, we understand Father Moses is a Holy Ghost priest. We once attended this crusade. Many people from other churches attended too. We prayed for all. A miracle happened. We are ready to become Catholics now. We are dying. Please don't make me cry. Hmm? Both of you should just wait here. Let me go in and see the priest. Okay? Thank you, ma. Just wait. Leave the priest for me to handle. I will say us. Okay? Yes, I did. It is our responsibility to focus and blink in attention on activities within our family and in our zones. You are failing in your responsibility. You have denied your children the attention they deserve, and now they are planning to set free our captive, your husband. And this you must not allow to happen. Pastor Godfrey. Your wife had the opportunity to turn her back to the dark world and experience the deliverance that only Christ can give. She refused and walked out on the priest. Would you also follow her example? I'm still surprised that you're here. How? I came here by the leading of the Holy Spirit. The cry of your children has got into the ears of God. Huh? I put your spirit in this cursed goat. So I have to prolong your doom, but I see that you're not even worthy to live. So you must die now. Jesus! Jesus! You force from the dead beyond! 
against you. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said there is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no enchantment against his word. We need a wallet in the same place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I come against you. For the Bible said, I said to my day, verse 27, that the Lord have a problem because of the anointing. I come against you. Many is a God. For whatsoever I find on earth is bound in heaven. You powers of darkness, wherever you are, wherever you are praying from, I come against you in the name of Jesus. of Jesus. I arrest your powers. I arrest your powers. I break your powers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. giving you a second chance. It is now time for you to rise up in your spirit and take up this battle against principalities and powers that have taken over all human-made altars in this town and even beyond. But we, the children of God, must not let them prevail. Amen. First of all, I, I must thank God for using you, Father Moses, to revive me. Jesus. I will always appreciate it. And to my lovely children, for not abandoning me, God will bless you. Who am I that God loves so much? Uh -huh. His love for me cannot be overemphasized. Not deserving of the second chance. But because of his loving tender mercies, he gave it to me. God. Now I know that I will always worship him in truth and spirit all the days of my life. Hallelujah. Father Moses, God bless you. Thank you very much, Father. Father, I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm just coming from your parish. They told me you came here. Father, please 
there is something that is of utmost urgency you need to do for me. That is why I've been looking for you. I summoned all of you at very short notice because we are faced with a very desperate situation that demands a desperate solution. Where is Lady Havoc? Jezebel is not here too, my lord. My lord. Jezebel has gone to join Lucifer in the forgotten story. My lord, Samuel has gone to invite the servants of the righteous one. They are right at your gate and about to set Margaret free. Bring me the good in which her spirit is the prison. and to set the captives free. Amen. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? I, I do. do. Do you believe in God the Father, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son? I do. I do. children. I have the right, I have the authority to do with them whatever I choose. In your own interest, Father, leave my compound now. Jesus. You are on. For the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. The world and everything that is in it. Your reign over this world over and today they shall be free from your terrible hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, Father, I shall set you free from this world. I shall feel no evil. I come not see the fortunes. It is with me. The Lord has given Jesus a name that is above every other name. Now the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every door will confess that Jesus is Lord. Bow in the name of Jesus. Jesus! Bow in the name of Jesus. I come against you.
are you doing? I am fighting the battle of my life and I will tolerate no distractions. You ask me what I am doing? Speak no more! For you have been rendered powerless. I, serious, rendered powerless. That is what you are because you have been defeated by the power from the light. I have come to take over. To take over this temple? You don't sound dead. You're an idiot. And you look like one. <laughs> The golden rule. The price for any failure here is death. No second chance. What happened in your abode is as a result of your negligence. Sirius, I warned you. I warned you. You will die. But you are not taking this temple away. I have come. To take charge. Try me. Ah! Ah! You know I am strong again. In yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. I am strong again. In yes. I am healed. Yes. I am healed. Yes. I am healed. Yes. That is the word. You have been healed by the power of the resurrected Amen. Your father, your husband, that just appeared here, has been serving as the apostle of Satan. And he has changed all of you in that evil order. But Jesus sets you free today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I set that altar on fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I set that altar on fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I set that altar on fire. Amen. You are free. The Son of God makes free. He's free indeed. Amen. 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 Take her to the hospital. Amen. 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 Of the manipulations of the young man. Amen. Amen. Get her pregnant. Ah. 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 Six for who to destroy? 